your Minnesota Fighting Vikings and, and the New York Football Jets have the dumbest rivalry in sports history. We, we've covered this a, a bunch, whether it's the Jets trying to sign Kirkua, Jerome Ezekiel Cousins back in 2018 before he ultimately came to the Vikings for less money, by the way, or when the Jets tried to sign Anthony Barr, or when the Jets ultimately did sign Tyler Gronklin and Dalvin Cook, etc. Also, they signed Pat Elfline. There, there's a bunch of intertwiningness uh, with, with this stupid franchise and this other stupid franchise, but the, the greatest chapter may be coming up very, very soon. So, uh, unfortunately, a-, a Ron Rogers uh, popped his Achilles um, so, you know, a few plays into the season. It's really unfortunate. Uh, hoping for the best for him. Although, he, he did say he could be back by the playoffs. You know, doing his like dolphin humping medication, or I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Either way, he's probably done for the season, and that really sucks for the Jets because they had high hopes coming into the season, and they still have one of the best defenses in the league under our guy Rob Salah. Rob Salah, but Zach Wilson's in at quarterback. And the Jets got their ass kicked by the Cowboys week two. Uh, they had a fluke ass win uh, against the Bills week one when Josh Allen was like, oh, here you go. Here you go. So if this team wants to do anything, Zach Wilson is not it. Re- remember last year, I mean, the Jets miraculously came out 8-9 and nine with one of the best defenses in the game. Uh, and also Garrett Wilson looks like a star at receiver. Uh, Brees Hall looks like one of the better young running backs in the game. Uh, but this, they averaged like two inches of play uh, in one of the games last year. It was really, really rough. And either way. Zach Wilson is not going to be the answer, and you know they're not going to find the answer in free agency either. Cam Newton or Carson Wentz or Matt Ryan ain't going to be the answer. But could the answer be out there? And could the Jets organization be desperate enough to really go for the pin and try to trade for Kirk and Jerome Ezekiel Cousins? Now, Kirk is in the final year of his uh, deal with the Vikings, uh, and he does have a no-trade clause. Now, we need to re- reiterate for the 17,000th time that a no-trade clause does not mean that a player cannot be traded. He, it means that the player has the veto power o- over a trade. All right? So it's completely uh, different. A, a deal can still get done, uh, but the player has to be like, thumbs up. All right? so, th- th- so that's it. Also, uh, it, it's weird. The loudest people in the room are always the incorrect ones. <laughs> I think there's a life lesson there. It doesn't Oh, he's got a no-trade clause. Whatever. But... There, there could be some reasons why Kirk w- would waive it, and we'll get into him from the top. Number one, if the Viking season was lost. So remember, the trade deadline is week eight, and even though the Vikings are going to get back on this horse, uh, so first off, I personally see the Vikings uh, being 3-2 and two headed into the Bears game, possibly 4-2 and two headed into the Niners game. No big deal, but uh, if the Vikings, for whatever reason, fall flat on their ass, or if the Vikings still have a gong show along the offensive line, maybe Kirk will be like, Mm, uh, even though the Jets O-line ain't nothing to uh, write home about either. And also, uh, Kirk is in the final year of his uh, contract, and if he doesn't see a future in Minnesota, maybe he just wants to speed things up a little bit. And maybe uh, it would be a confluence of things. Like, if he's not confident that he will get extended here with the Vikings, and if the Vikings are uh, circling the drain uh, around the trade deadline, uh, which would potentially put them in draft position to go after a Caleb Williams or a Shador Sanders or a Drake May or a you know Michael Penix Jr. or whoever you want future franchise quarterback. And obviously, it, it, I mean, it used to be you draft a quarterback, he sits for a year, maybe two. Uh, but now rookies play right away, and that's perfectly fine. So uh, that would be a confluence of things. Like if the Viking season sucks, it's clear that Quasey and Kevin O'Connor are moving on. Uh, you know, Kirk could decide to speed that thing up. And also, I mean, if the Jets are able to tread water enough uh, for a couple of weeks uh, with stupid ass Zach Wilson uh, under center, and maybe Kirk's like, mm. I mean, I, I, I hate leaving JJ, but I, I love me some uh, Garrett Wilson. And also, it'd be cool to uh, see Dalvin again. Dalvin would just be like, <clears throat> Got away from him. Nah. Uh, also, here's the thing too. Uh, so Rogers has said that uh, he's going to return to the Jets in 2024. The Jets owe him a ton of money as well. And even if re- if he retires, uh, they would be pretty strapped against the cap. Uh, and if he is traded to the Jets, he would be a free agent in 2024. Now, his deal does not include a no tag clause, but for all intents and purposes, that won't work out here in the Vikings uh, since he's already been tagged three times. Same thing with the Jets. So uh, he would be hitting the open market as a true free agent uh, if he went to the Jets, who are likely going to bring back Rodgers if he's able to play. Also, 
if he's able to work out a significant pay raise uh, from the Jets. Uh, remember, uh, the, the the team that trades for him will only inherit about a $10 million cap it. It's prorated over how many games are left. And the Jets have around $9.9 million in cap space, but they could work things out. They could restructure uh, C.J. Mosley pretty easily. Uh, so if he's able to leverage, I know, an extra uh, 10, 15, 20 million bucks out of the deal, why not? Kirko, get, get after it. Get down, man. Uh, so that's why... Kirk would potentially waive a no-trade clause. Plus, one of the reasons he would waive it is because if he's not part of the Jets' future, like he wouldn't care what the draft compensation is. And you see this sometimes when players have no-trade clauses, where if a player is getting traded for significant draft compensation, that means his new team is going to be out multiple first-round picks. Sometimes they're like, no, 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 no. But Kirk... Uh, who would not give a frick uh, if the Jets gave up a ton of draft picks. And remember, the Jets' uh, 2024 draft pick reverted to a second-round pick because Rodgers is not going to meet the threshold for number of snaps. So uh, the Jets' first-rounder in 2024 is still in play. So since the Vikings would, could potentially have this leverage, uh, and again, Zach Wilson is not the answer. If the Jets uh, actually want to do something this year, Kirk Cousins would be the best option, best realistic option of potentially available quarterback. So it's going to cost you. Two first round picks. Uh, Vikings armed with three first rounders. Uh, be able to, or well, two and two, whatever. Be able to uh, make some moves and find some grooves and find the quarterback of the future. I mean, it could work out. Uh, again, I'm not giving up hope on this season, especially the way the NFC North is looking. Uh, but if it does go that route, I mean, it could be, turn into a possibility. And Jets GM Joe Douglas, aka White Shug Knight. Uh, I mean, he, he's on the hot seat. Same thing with his guy, head coach Rob Salah, because this team had a ton of uh, expectations coming in. And just because Rodgers got hurt doesn't mean that uh, someone would have to pay if, if it doesn't pan out. So, of course, he, he would be fine giving up those future first-round picks because uh, if he doesn't make this trade, he won't be around to spend them anyway. That's the whole thing. So it would just add another chapter to the dumbest rivalry uh, in sports history. And maybe it would just be... It would be a long con. Like, it's the Americans. And Kevin O'Connell was just a jet sleeper agent this entire time. He's like, yes, go ahead, comrade. Trade trade Kirk to the Jets. Right, go ahead. And Mike Fenton, too. Uh, wh wh why the hell not? But, okay, I doubt that it happens. Uh, a very specific set of things would have to come in, into play uh, in terms of the Vikings completely going off the rails, the Jets staying relevant, uh, and if Kirk doesn't see a future here. But... It's a non-zero chance, I guess, uh, but of course, uh, Kirk's best chance to win would be here in the great state of Minnesota, uh, so let's rally up and roll from there. Uh, your thoughts or thoughts, would Kirk Cousins actually, actually trade it, uh, waive his no trade clause? Probably not. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but until next time, Skull Production Value.